Alright. Just expecting it to say, now you can play as Eggman. I am the Eggman. That's what I am. Good on, man. But yeah, now we can go into Eggman's little base in the Mystic Ruins here. And if you see here, you have little capsules that hold Metal Sonic and Silver Sonic from uh, Sonic 2 and uh, Sonic CD respectively. Um, well, the other way around, but you know what I mean. Uh, okay. Now if I do this right, I think we can actually... Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Now you can actually go inside the capsules and for some reason... Like you're you're really tiny compared to the uh, the robot counterparts. I right, just go over here. And hi, hi Mel. I'm gonna see you again. Oh, he, he's uh, well, he, his eyes are open, so he's definitely alive and all that. Well, he is like flowing in the air, but hmm. I guess uh, one can speculate, and this is just me spitballing here, but. Maybe after Sonic 4 Episode 2, if you count that as being canon, which... There's things going against it and going with it, but... Yeah, if, if you can go with that being canon, I guess, um... Eggman could have just, like, taken Metal Sonic after he got, like, crushed again. And le electrified, for that matter, as well. Um, Eggman kind of, like, found him... Um, just lying around on the Death Egg Mark II, because again, it didn't. It, it's, it was still like intact after Sonic and Tails left, so he very well could have just found Metal lying around and then just kind of, kind of like uh, abandoned the Death Egg Mark II or some crap. I don't freaking know. Maybe, maybe what we did, may, maybe the because we destroyed the heart basically. It stopped everything from working on that plate on the Death Egg Mark II, so they just said, screw it, we're leaving. And then he just kind of grabbed Metal Sonic um, when he was, like, like broken and everything. Just made a, made a capsule for him to, for, so he can regenerate his... Uh, so he can, like, basically just regain his... Uh, what was it? I, I don't know, but basically re regain his strength and... Uh, so he can like one day, one day, uh, like come back, I guess. Which did happen in Heroes. So, I mean, I, I, this bit, this fairy could have some uh, weight to it. Um, like if someone actually went, it went and bothered, like, like bothering to think of all, all of the details. But yeah, that, that's something interesting I uh, to think about. And what the hell? Okay, that has never happened to me before, but um, yeah, and I, I guess they he, I guess the Silver Sonic thing can just be explained as like uh, maybe 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 Eggman found like uh, Silver Sonic like lying around uh, and just decides to uh, you make an, like a duplicate of Metal Sonic's capsule. Just in case he needed like a backup or something, I don't know. But yeah, that I I know it's meant to be just like there for um, like nostalgia reasons or like fan service. But I I don't know. Like it's kind of fun to just theorize some stuff like this at times. Um, I, I I don't go crazy about it, like oh what's the timeline? When does this happen? What uh, what does this mean? What like, uh, uh, I don't know, Sonic's gra- I don't, I don't know, but yeah, I'm not like Game Fairy where I, I overanalyze the smallest thing, like, Sonic's jumping on these platforms, he must be ascending to uh, the heavens or some crap like that, I don't freaking know, but yeah, I, I'm not Game Fairy levels of crazy with that stuff, like, I don't mean to harp on Game Fairy, like, I don't hate- the uh, game fairy, um, like he, what he does a lot of uh, stuff, uh, uh, what research for the fairies he does, and I mean, kudos to him because he does a lot of uh, hard work for those videos. So I'm not harping on that. Like he does, he definitely deserves the 
views and the uh, popularity that he gets. But for me, I just think some of the some of the fairies, uh, well, most of them are just really just, like over the top. Like I, I get that that's the point, but I don't know. Like I just I I don't know, man. Like I don't hate like fair game fairies or anything like that, but. Most of the time, it's, it's kind of like, it's kind of just like, you kind of have to like look back at some points and just remember like, this is a video game you're talking about. This isn't like, uh, real life or anything crazy like that. So I don't think it should be, like, some, some fairies should be taken too seriously. Like, um, like game... Matt Pat can continue like what with what he's doing. Like, I'm totally fine with it. But some of some uh, of of his of his fans kind of need to like back off a little bit. Like it's fine if you agree with a theory of his, but it's when you kind of treat it as like fact and you don't really consider any other opinions when it kind of becomes annoying like again i i don't mind if you think like mario's a freaking uh mario's mental or uh luigi is rosalina's like uh father or something like that like it's totally fine if you believe that stuff but please for the love of everything stop treating it as facts like like people have their different opinions like how how things are and, and game series or something but yeah at the end of the day it's just a theory it's not supposed to be treated as a fact but yeah anyways and I'm, I don't know where that game theory run came from but yeah we're in the final stage for Sonic this is um, final work this is like it, I, I don't know if I pref if I like this more or less than Lost Lost World but it's definitely one of the best stages in the uh, in for Sonic, um, like it's a pretty high-speed platforming. There's stuff constantly, uh, new things constantly happening, and it's just fun to play this stage. And you can find some pretty cool routes as you like use the spin dash and whatnot. But you have to be a little bit careful. Let me just let's see if I can just go up there. There's okay. There's nothing. But yeah. I also really like the music in the, the, the. I really like the music in this stage as well. Like it's one of the best. Uh, it has what some of the best music in the game, in my opinion. Like it's just like I can't. I can't really hear it uh, that well, but it's like da 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 and all that stuff. So it's pretty uh, cool stuff here. But yeah. Alright. Oh come on! No 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 no. Right, we're getting sucked in. Right, that kind of sucked. Alright. Alright, there we go. Okay. And just ignore these guys. They don't really matter. So, but yeah. We can go over there and take the normal pathway, or we can go here and find some nu knuckle uh, knuckles and the and two tails dolls. Uh, and if we, the camera would work with me here, oh, what's this? Just rings. All right then. It's not really worth much, and I should just try and get rings for the chair garden. But yeah. But yeah, I, I do like it when the level design rewards you for expl exploration like people exaggerate how much it does it like it does it decently enough but it doesn't do it nearly as much as people like to believe um like honestly SA2 I'm not gonna say it has more exploration because it doesn't but it's still I still consider it pretty close to this game like there are some pretty well hidden secrets that have one up capsules and ring boxes and stuff like that but it, 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 I will say it's not as good as uh, it's not as pronounced as yeah, this game, bad. but I I still I'd still say that the exploration factor isn't like that much better in this game, really. But yeah, 
Yeah, just kind of strolling down here. Don't mind me. Just doing Sanic fit. Just doing Sanic things. Listen to my funky rhythm, Sonic! Or whatever that Sonic short was. Oh, jeez. Now we have the final Sonic boss. Now, uh, I, I'm kind of iffy on this boss. Like, it's it's fun to fight this guy, but it it kind of takes a bit too long for me. Like, I again, I enjoy playing this. Um, there's nothing wrong with that, but I think it takes a little bit too long. Like, it takes a bit too long to for you to be able to hit him sometimes. And if you die, you have to do the, do the entire fight again, and that's always no fun. Especially when it's like, up to a three minute boss fight. Like, I don't know, I just feel like this guy this guy kind of drags out a bit much, but, uh, yeah. It does uh, have a, a few, like, famous Eggman quotes though, like, Get a load of this and ha ha ha, see if you can make it through here, Sonic, and stuff like that, but... Yeah, the fight itself um, is a decent Eggman fight, but it kind of just drags on. A little bit repetitive as well, but it could have been. It could be worse. I mean, I'd play this over uh, pretty much all of the Eggman fights in 06, counting Egg Cerberus. But yeah. There's really not a lot I can say about this fight. Um, it just kind of speaks for itself. Oh, please don't kill me. Alright. I guess one thing to say is that uh, there is a boss rush, I believe, for every character. And it's pretty much self-explanatory. I don't think you get any emblems from it, though, but it's a thing. And, yeah. <laughs> Now I just have to... Oh, he's doing this now, okay. Alright, just jump on his little Beyblade spinny things. Get him! And it can be a little bit finicky, like sometimes you can just jump dash off the side and die. Which kind of sucks, but yeah. And now he's just gonna... He's gonna break two platforms at a time every time you hit him now. Or... Or fail hit hitting him, like... After every phase where, when he's like throwing those little Beyblade spinning things, he's gonna break two more platforms and yeah, there are only like four left so kind of want to take him out quickly. Alright. Okay, I was kind of scared there because it looked like, I thought Sonic kind of like drift, like went to the side a little bit and almost fell but alright. Go! Yeah. <laughs> and there we're done. Uh, we're done with Sonic's story. No. <laughs> but yeah. Now there's gonna there is a credit secret. Oh, how, what the hell? I like how uh, Sonic jumped off from the uh, the train uh, and then landed around down here. And then it just kind of cut to him on that little mountain and going down to the place where he jumped off. Like, what? <laughs> but yeah, there are six different credit credit sequences in this. Oh, no, seven actually. Um, 
And again, I I usually say my final thoughts during the last credit sequence. So, with that said, this has been Sonic Story, and I'll see you guys next time for Tails' story. So, see you guys then. Peace out. <laughs>